Well, I'm Jonathan Kingston and I have the pleasure of being the musical director for Banbury Crawl Society. We've been performing um, Karloff's magnum opus, which is Carmina Burana. Uh, it's a piece in many ways that needs very little introduction because it's always out there. It's a great dramatic piece that's hugely engaging. Uh, it's been used for adverts, it's been used in film soundtracks. Um, although the majority of it is in Latin, uh, with a certain amount of, of, of old French and old German as well, the words aren't at all religious. It's a secular, non-religious cantata, if you like, all about love, lust, drinking, and really we feel quite, uh, quite lucky to be allowed to perform it in church because I think if people knew the translation, they may, uh, they may think otherwise as to, as to a venue for its performance. <laughs> So there's been about 70 singers on stage from the Choral Society, which is wonderful, though we could always take more. Um, we had two pianists as well. Karloff um, composed this full symphony orchestra of about 80 to 90 sing uh, uh, instrumentalists, but he also did a version, his original version, for two grand pianos and a large percussion section. So tonight we had two pianists and six percussionists playing everything from tuned percussion to timpani uh, to all the ancillary untuned percussion as well, all just to add fizz, sparkle and, and, and a big bang at the key moments. So we have three impassioned, absolutely incredible um, emotive verses from our tenor uh, and all the, um, the vocal soloists tonight are pushed to new limits. Karloff has deliberately written in frankly quite ridiculous vocal ranges because he wants a particularly outrageous sound to come forth from these soloists. So we have very, very high parts, sometimes that have to be sung by male singers in a falsetto voice. And the soprano also needs singling out because she is way, way, way above the stave so much of the time uh, also. It's a real tour de force for these soloists, extremely difficult music for them to bring off. In the final term, uh, next term, so we start as soon as Monday, um, we're gonna present two requiem masses. Um, there's a big anniversary coming up uh, for Gabriel Foray, so we are going to present um, his well-known Requiem, also his Cantique de Jean Racine, which is a beautiful cantata, uh, which many will know, uh, and we're going to twin that uh, with, the, with the Requiem by, by John Rutter, um, which is quite a popular, uh, popular piece, but not, not quite as well-known as, uh, as the Foray. However, the two do go uh, very well together, so we're looking forward to that. I'm really happy with tonight's performance. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, what do you ask for? You ask for engagement, you ask for uh, as much, it'll be on all right on the night sort of spirit as they can give it, um, and a great deal of sort of fearless self-confidence. They were, they were there every step of the way, and I'm, I'm very pleased and proud of every single one of them.